hi welcome to my video my name is Linda and today I'm going to share with you how to make a planner from scratch in zoom notes going from choosing a design in free pick all the way to creating your planner in the zoom notes um, auto creation in the comments below I shall add the minute step by step so that if there's some parts that you're really familiar with and you really don't want a refresher you can just hop forward um, sorry the video is over 30 minutes, but I've tried to keep it as compact as possible. Hope you enjoy and I hope you learn something.
this point, I thought it might be helpful if I voiced over. Go into the plus symbol and create document, custom. Then scroll up to the top and put your project name in. Just for today, I'm doing tester planner, which is absolutely fine. Um, it's just that I know what pops up. Then if we scroll down to cover, um, I like to have a cover. We've designed one, so we may as well use it. And we've already got it in the template. So go to paper templates, tap on there and find your cover. There it is. Tap on it and that will come up automatically as the cover. Then we're going into the digital planner area. Now, if we scroll down to the page type, we can pay, tap in paper template. So tap on there. Um, I've got an, a previous one showing, but we want to do the one that we've uh, designed for today's purposes. So tap on the one that best suits your needs. I don't use the padding or the infinite whiteboard, so I'm going to ignore that today. Scroll up and press configure planner. Now, I always start with general on the bottom left on the bottom. There's um, general tabs, index, etc. So tap on general first and literally bit by bit scroll up through the actual program and just change anything that you feel is relevant. Now, there is a lot going on here and I don't really want to uh, spend an awful lot of time explaining every single nitty gritty um, area with you, but pretty much it's self-explanatory. Have a little play. And the reason why I say don't worry about it is because the planner is built so quickly. It takes seconds. You can literally just delete and go back and it remembers where you left off. So don't worry about it. OK, now, whilst you're editing and you're going from one area to another to see any relevant changes, you can tap on the year, month, weeks or days and it will um, change items for you but you need to tap out of um, what you can view and go back into your view to see any changes. Now at the bottom there there is a button called inset page edges. I'd like you to switch that off for now because we'll come back to that and that will help us align everything up. So going into tabs now we or have already put our tabs in so we don't need to change any um, colors or layout etc because we've already put ours in I'm just showing you here that you can if you want to adapt the palette etc now the um, January to the December we want at the top which is fine and we want the numbered tabs which is the auxiliary tabs in this system on the right and we want 10 of those but you can have i think it's up to 26 or i think ed was looking at 31 as in 31 days so have a little play with that and see how many tabs you'd like as an auxiliary and put them in the location that you want now moving on to the index i'm not going to have an index page because my tabs on the top are 13 12 months plus one for 2021 and if we wanted an index page we would have to put another tab on but i'm not really interested in an index page but it's something that you can play with then moving on to sections this is where we're going to put our symbols in and looking at one section at a time we're on the yearly so where it says use page symbol tap it and tap on the yearly and that will automatically default you notice there i popped into month and came back to year to have a look at it um, go into months we do want to add a month so we can change the date mode but i just like to have the date on um, as in the number so if it's the first it says one in the sections area, you can also alter your event support. Um, now you can do both. You can do it now or you can do it after. It doesn't really make any difference. So in my monthly, I've made that it's a list that pops up. But as with other things, have a little play and see which suits you. I've tapped on the monthly calendar, uh, monthly symbol, and it's popped up there. Not in alignment, but we'll go back and fix that later. Then I'm moving on to weeks. and I'm going to do exactly the same. Uh, we can change the ev event support in this one as well if we wanted to. Um, it's showing here that we could have rows or columns. We, we chose columns because that's our symbol. Then go to the week and tap on week symbol. That's that one done. There it is. And finally, it's our days. And we have to be careful with our days because in this section, we can actually indicate 
the minute intervals between each hour and I want 30 minutes um, so I want sort of like five o'clock half five six o'clock half six etc and that's exactly where you'll put it there I've put a cross through that one there to say that 16 is wrong it should be 30 um, or if you wanted the whole hour it would be 60. I've made another boo-boo here. The day length isn't 17 hours. Five in the morning until seven o'clock at night is 14 hours. So, whoops, never mind. Click on your daily um, symbol. And then we're moving on to the next part, which is notes. Now, I left a space on our symbol areas for notes. However, uh, the calendar will actually automatically do them for you if you ask to, OK? So this is a button that's an option yet again. Now, we're going back again, back to general, and we're scrolling all the way to the bottom where I said ignore this for now, the page insets. And it's really important, this inset, because this is what's going to straighten out our calendar. Now, the uh, box at the top is the top margin and the one on the left is the left margin, etc. And basically, you just put in the millimetres that you feel would make a difference and adjust your calendar. And you can see it change if you flick from one um, area to another. So I've gone from days to weeks there and I can see the change in the in the calendar. Now, my daily um, symbol is my best option for viewing because I've got something all the way up to the far right hand margin. So I should be able to accurately work out the right margin as well. And then once you're happy with that, uh, we can go back, go back again and then create. And there you go. This was real time. How long did that take? One second and your planner is made. And this is why I say to you, please don't worry about messing about with buttons and having a go because the planner is made so quickly, it really isn't an issue to delete and start again.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and you actually managed to get to the end. I'd be very happy to do other videos. Just let me know in the comments. Thank you.